everyone tells you the same thing. Just immerse yourself in Spanish. Watch Netflix, listen to podcasts, move to Mexico. But this is the thing that they don't tell you. For most adults, pure immersion is actually one of the least efficient ways to learn a language. So let's start talking about what happens to your brain during immersion. I know this sounds crazy, especially when you see like polyglots on YouTube claiming that they learned a language in six months just by living the language. But neuroscience research shows exactly why immersion fails for most people and what actually works instead. So let's start talking about what happens to your brain during immersion. So basically when you're surrounded by Spanish all day, your brain is in constant survival mode. It's basically trying to extract meaning from all this flood of incomprehensible sounds. But here's the problem, your brain can only process the things that it already has some foundation for. Dr. Michael Ullman's research at Georgetown shows that adults basically have two different language learning systems in their brain. Kids learning a language primarily rely on their procedural memory. Memory. It's the same type of memory that you rely on for learning how to ride a bike, for example. But adults rely a lot more on declarative memory. That's the system that we use for facts or for conscious learning. So basically that means that as an adult, if you're drowning in Netflix series without having any foundational grammar, your adult brain literally cannot build the patterns that it needs. It's kind of like trying to learn how to build houses by staring at houses all day. To build a house, really, you need to understand how bricks and mortar work. But it gets interesting. There is actually a sweet spot. Research by Dr. Nick Ellis shows that the most effective approach combines explicit learning with meaningful exposure. Basically about 70% structured practice and then 30% immersive content. So why do some people succeed with immersion like some people do? Well, they usually have one of these three advantages. They are children and they have a flexible procedural memory system. They already speak a related language that gives them a structure, right? If you're learning Spanish and you already speak Italian, it's going to be way easier. They are like very close together in a way. Or, and this is a big one, they are not actually doing pure immersion. A lot of successful immersion learners are actually learning grammar on the side, using apps or reading textbooks, etc. They are really combining structure learning with exposure, exactly what the research recommends. So here's how you can do this. You can start with 20 or 30 minutes of focused grammar and vocabulary study, and then you can spend like 10 or 15 more minutes applying those grammar rules and that vocabulary through Spanish content, listening or speaking. Your brain basically needs the structure first and then the context to cement that structure. You can think of it like learning to drive. You don't just get thrown into traffic and figure it out. First you learn the rules and then you practice in a controlled environment and then you gradually increase complexity and then you go on the highway. So language learning is kind of similar. So basically the bottom line is that pure immersion works but it works specifically for kids or for people who already speak a related language. But for adults with busy life, strategic learning is the best. First you learn the structure and then you practice it. Grammar and then meaningful practice. And that gets you fluent faster and with less frustration. So you can stop feeling guilty about not living the language 24 seven because your brain actually learns better when you give it the structure that it needs. It's better to work smarter. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.